My name is Karina Carey Matuzak, and I create copper paintings and sell them all over the world. This is a piece that I did years ago back when I was doing more realistic art. And it's actually done on charcoal and the whole paper is done black and then it's drawn with an eraser. So it was really different and unusual for me. Uh, very, very tedious. Uh, it took me probably over a month. I had always considered myself to be a, a fairly good realistic artist. I never liked abstract art at all, which is kind of funny since that's what I do every day, but uh, I didn't really understand it. I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I didn't really have an appreciation for it. I went to art school and I was trained in London. I had a professor that was really pretty strict and he expected a lot out of his students. And so everything I would turn in, uh, he would give me a C on and I was pretty disappointed. He had an assignment where he asked us to, uh, we had to take a magazine picture and we had to look at the, the movement and then we had to create an abstract piece. And I really, until that point, did not care for abstract art at all. I worked for several hours on it. The professor looked at it and then he looked up at me and he said, this is brilliant and gave me an A plus. And my first reaction was, oh boy, I got an A plus. And then my second reaction was, oh great, now I guess I better learn how to do abstract art. So now I love it and now it's what I do. I think sometimes it takes another person to maybe their set of eyes or their perspective to kind of see, you know, where, where you're true gifts lie. Then I moved over and began doing the abstracts. Uh, that's primarily what I concentrate on now. It's just a very pliable sheet of copper and I just cover the board. Whenever I get an imperfection in the copper, I try to work it into the piece. Um, a lot of my collectors really like the rustic look. They like the slight little imperfections, the nails, the wrinkles. Sometimes I even flatten it a little. But sometimes I don't really know what it's going to end up like. It's not like I draw it out beforehand. I just kind of, I might know a general color scheme. I might know that I'm going to be working in gold and blue, or I might know that, you know, I'm going to make a geometric style or a surreal style. But um, more often than not, it comes out differently on copper than it does in my mind. But sometimes that's better. I really love the way that the copper reflects the light and I try to use it as a, a separate color in my work. It's just mesmerizing to me. I keep the colors separate at first and then I add a drying agent. Oil paint takes a very long time to dry, and so when I add a drop or two of this drying agent, it speeds up the process. Uh, my work generally sells pretty quickly. Um, I sell a lot of it online, and I need to make sure that it's shippable as quickly as possible. So when I add the drying agent, that just, um, you know, it, it helps it to dry a little bit faster. I try to create a piece so that your eye kind of is brought through the whole piece. And maybe so that each time you look at it, you might see something a little different. I put red on my palette, but I'm not using it. The other really fascinating thing about copper art is that it changes in the light. So you may have a painting that looks one way at one time a day and then completely different later on. I really love uh, the way that the drips come in here. It almost has a lightning effect. It's just, it's very beautiful to me.
I have been approached by people who are celebrating their copper anniversary and I believe that's the seventh anniversary and so they want something unique to remember their special day with. Um, well our seventh year anniversary was last year and uh, it's the copper anniversary so I'm trying to try to find something unique and different and you kind of go online and just a, a bunch of sound little pieces, nothing that kind of stands out or kind of hits home. As I was searching around, um, I found this amazing website with this artwork. I was like, wow, this really speaks to me. We went all around town and saw a few things on display and said, this is what we need, this is what we want to have. Because um, too, too often you, you get a gift that you, know, you, you have, you put in a drawer and it disappears and years later you forget, oh, it's my anniversary gift. This is on the wall, we see it every day. The kids see it, friends and family see it. And everyone who does loves it. Um, it's, it's the first thing that everybody sees when they walk in the room, and we've gotten so many really awesome comments on it. It's so beautiful. It always changes. The light comes in through the windows, and so it hits the copper differently every day. And so it's almost like a new painting every day. There's a new color you see, or a new light, or a new shine to it. So to me, it's more than just one piece of art. It's something different. Hi, my name is Jill Kells. I am the art director here at the DeFore Center. Karina came in with her unique work and her colors were just so shimmery that everybody thought that it was so creative the way she painted on the copper that we um, decided to put her up about a year later. A year later I put her in there. I am not too sure why Karina doesn't like to um, reveal her, her meanings behind her paintings. When you're painting like me or anybody else, you sort of, you either have a very obvious title or you have a very abstract uh, title. You don't know maybe what it means until you're done or maybe when you're halfway through. And <clears throat> perhaps maybe the reason why she does it, at least on my end, she's trying to create a personal connection with her collector. So the collector buys it on, on, on par of what she sees and what they like and what they want. And then she reveals, well, this is what I got, this is how I got to my image. And you don't necessarily realize what it's going to be until you're done with it, like I said. And so therefore, maybe it might take on a special more meaning to the, 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 the person buying it or visualizing it or, or collecting it. And sometimes it's an element of surprise that might even give it even more meaning to the, the collector buyer slash visual person. And I think it's kind of unique. Um, I've got collectors from all over the world. I've got some collectors that have whole rooms of my art, and I've got some collectors that actually own 26 pieces. That's very flattering. Um, what a great feeling it is that some of my art, that someone would choose to have my art on their wall to see every day. It's just amazing.